Let's go over the Star Wars franchise when it comes to Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the Skywalker Saga, currently being directed by J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, Episode 9 will have prequel trilogy continuity being inserted by J.J. Abrams himself in order to tie all nine movies together into one big mega movie that will be sold by Disney and Lucasfilm that way in case you guys didn't know that's how they're going to market this movie as a mega event is by telling us that essentially this is indeed the end of the end of the Skywalker saga and also this trilogy as well so looking at episode 9 specifically a lot of people have been wondering as to what kind of prequel trilogy continuity could we very well be getting in episode 9 are they planets are they characters are they things or are they just moments of the past now these these past couple of weeks we have been going over all of the different set leaks, the scene descriptions, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with Rey and quite possibly even some prequel trilogy continuity cameos, alright, character cameos in episode 9. Now it goes over how Rey actually touches what appears to be a triangular object. It lies on top of a table in an abandoned vault. She begins to see moments of the the past, Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon fighting Darth Maul, followed by a fight between friends now foes, Obi-Wan and Anakin on Mustafar over a river of lava, lastly a duel between father and son, Vader and Luke, Luke screams as his hand is severed and the vision ends as Rey stands up in shock. So this seems like that she's touching a Jedi holocron, I'm not quite sure if that is what it is but it actually is a triangular object. I couldn't think of anything else. If there is something else in EU or Legends material that is a triangular object, but not a Jedi holocron or Sith holocron, I should say, let me know in the comments below what you think that is actually in this description for episode 9. Now as far as Rey touching this object, this is once again something similar in a sense to what J.J. Abrams did in The Force Awakens where Rey touches the Skywalker lightsaber and gets sucked into the past and sees all of these visions taking place through the ages. Now we're going to see something similar in a sense apparently if this actually does come into play here for episode 9. It means that we're going to see Obi-Wan, Darth Maul, all right, Anakin Skywalker, and even Qui-Gon Jinn. So that is, of course, four prequel trilogy character cameos that have the potential of making their way in Episode 9. Now, do I think that they're going to refilm this? Absolutely not. I think that what they're doing is they're inserting old footage from the prequel trilogy into this movie. Now as far as the Mustafar flashback goes, where you have Anakin going up against Obi-Wan, there is the possibility that they could be reshooting that, I'm not quite sure, but we do know that apparently they have all eyes on Mount Etna as a filming location for Episode 9. And in case you guys are not informed, Mount Etna they used in Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, for some shots of the planet of Mustafar. So that tells me that they could do that for either this scene, or maybe that's a scene in which Kylo Ren goes to Vader's castle, which I think is more likely uh, for them to refilm a scene like that. Uh, but looking at Episode 9, if they are to have Darth Maul, Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, Anakin, all of these characters, right? I think that this is the greatest way to tie all the movies into one big epic movie. I think that J.J. Abrams is going to deliver as long as he does a lot of things like this. And as long as these things come into fruition, I think a lot of fans are going to be very happy around the globe. I really do. Uh, looking at The Last Jedi, that's one thing that I think was missing from that movie is that it felt too different for me. Uh, it felt like it broke a lot of the traditions from Star Wars. And one of the biggest traditions was, of course, a lightsaber duel. We didn't even get to see that in that movie. And that was one thing that really made me feel kind of empty in The Last Jedi. But looking at Episode 9 here, we do know that J.J. is back. We know that The Force Awakens, at least in my eyes, was a pretty solid film. I enjoyed it more than The Last Jedi, just because of how the movie flowed, uh, how the pace was, the fact that there was a lightsaber duel, uh, the whole entire tension between Kylo Ren, Han Solo, uh, Rey, 
Uh, the, the, the amazing ending of Luke Skywalker was just legendary. It set it up so perfectly. And going into The Last Jedi, I was just very upset to see that it continue with Luke just tossing the saber over his shoulder. But I digress, guys. This is about Episode 9, and Rey touching this object, I don't know if it's a holocron or what, but whatever it is, it gives her these moments, these visions of the past of Darth Maul, Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, and Anakin Skywalker. The four greatest characters of the prequel trilogy era, I would say. And for Qui-Gon to be a part of Episode 9, if they can make this work, I think would be fantastic. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you also very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.